Welcome to Evergreen Speedway's Home Track Heroes on CW11. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the first broadcast of Evergreen Speedway's Home Track Heroes. My name is Steve Mortland, and happy to be joined by Jeff Knight. And Jeff, you know, you have been through many an opening night in your career here at Evergreen Speedway. What is it that these guys are going through before they hop in the car? Man, I'm telling you, the drivers, the crews, everybody is just excited to be at the track. It's a unique year, 2020, getting started so late in the season. I'm telling you, the energy is going to be fantastic. The racing's going to be good. And we have a wet track tonight. And with the amount of time that these guys and gals have been laid off, a lot of adrenaline, it's going to be a lot of action. Absolutely. I'm sure the rookies got a, a few built-up nerves, and certainly when the surface of the track is wet, it makes things a little more interesting. Going to be a great night. Built-up nerves, kind of like you and I. All right, let's introduce you to the third member of our broadcast team this year. His name is Kyler Hope, and he's got an update on what's been improved here at Evergreen Speedway and talking to some of the drivers you'll see tonight. Thanks guys. This track has been in operation for over 66 years, but the surface brand new, just three years old, which allows for great two wide, even three wide action all around this three eighths of a mile. Jason Majors, fast time rolling out here for the main event. What are your thoughts as the defending champion coming back to, with Pro 4 trucks and got a ton of new competitors here, four, four or five new trucks rolling out? Yeah, you know, it's good to see uh, some new trucks being built. Uh, we just want to pick up right where we left off uh, last season. Uh, won two championships in a row, we got to defend that. So uh, number 22, uh, Popeye Energy Chevrolet is uh, pretty good today. We got her dialed in. Jason Majors feeling confident rolling out for the main event. All right, Thomas Stanford here, fast time, and you're going to be rolling off a little bit mid-pack with the invert. What are your overall thoughts with this extended off-season, and now your car is extra fast? Well, we put in a lot of hours over the winter, and so it's nice to see it pay off. I mean, that was the hardest part about sitting at home all, all year was, you know, we wanted to get to the track and see if what we did was actually going to work. So it did, new track record, so we can't, can't be upset with that. I mean, that's pretty awesome. Uh, now it's just go out there, try to finish, and I think we've got a race car that can win the race. How much would it mean to you to win the first mini stock main event back in action after this long, long, long off season? Oh, it'd mean a lot. I mean, you know, just the extended break means everyone worked even harder. And so to come back means we did the best, I guess, and, and uh, we prepared the most. And so I think it's a good reflection on the team, the car, and uh, yeah, it'd be awesome. Jamie Corbett here, rolling out for the main event. You brought a lot of speed to the track today. What's it going to take to get to victory lane tonight? You know, I think tonight it's just going to be patience with this weather. You just kind of got to play it out and then uh, a lot of defensive driving and just work your way to the front one at a time. You're one of the veterans in a field full of rookies. Does that give you any more concern or are you excited for the new challenge? Uh, it's definitely a new challenge and an, always a concern. So you just got to, you know, watch them throughout the day and see who's the more radical drivers and just try to stay away from them. Jamie Corbett going to play it smart tonight. Chad Center rolling out for the main event, defending series champion, and a lot of new faces in the field tonight. How are you feeling with all the new blood out there? I'm not too worried. I'm just uh, finally glad to be able to be out here racing. And uh, I'm just going to go out and drive like I always do and hope for the best and going to go for it. What would it mean to win back-to-back -back champions here at Evergreen Speedway in the Legend? Uh, it would mean a lot since being I'm the first champion here at Evergreen Speedway in the Legend car class. It would be cool to keep it going. Chad Center looking to carry momentum for the 2019 season. Before we begin our broadcast tonight, we want to certainly acknowledge the horrific effect COVID-19 has caused on our daily lives in America and throughout the world. We feel very privileged to be showcasing local racing talent on a live stage, but much has changed in our lives and everything in the racing industry has also changed. From no fans in the grandstands to temperature checking every participant to proper PPE and social distancing, mandatory safeguards are in effect to help stop the spread of this disease. 
Tonight, we will feature several of the home track classes performing here at Evergreen Speedway. Due to weather conditions, we've had to cancel our premier Speedway Chevrolet Pro Late models and also the Pro 4 truck main events. We know you will certainly be entertained by our Interstate Batteries Hornets, the Evergreen Legend Division, and NASCAR Mini Stocks. So sit back and enjoy the show and get to know as many of our home track heroes as possible. We start every event with an introduction of all the people that help us out, but most importantly, our national anthem, and it's sung tonight from by Rosalind Bender. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what's so precious? twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fights or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming And thank you so much, Rosalind. Very well done. Jeff, here we go. This is what everyone has been so looking forward to. We're finally going to get some race cars out on the Absolutely. track. Absolutely. Absolutely. Evergreen Speedway 2020, no better place to be in the Pacific Northwest. Race season in the summertime. We're kicking it off with a little rain, but it's going to be awesome. In Washington, what else are you going to do, I think right? You're, you can, you're not going to escape the rain. <laughs> That's absolutely right. First up is our Hornet Heat Race, and this is going to be such a fun class. You guys are going to so be in, entertained by the races that these guys are going to put on all season long. And let's bring you the starting lineup for this heat. Starting off on the front row in the number 10 H car, uh, her name is Peyton Maybury. And outside of Peyton in the number 84, young man's name is Stephen Dotson. In the number 14 car on the inside second row, Austin Kramer. In the 025 car is Trent Gillespie. And in the out inside of the third row, Damon Claiborne in car number one. 43. Outside of Damon is the number 15 of Matt Snyder. And then uh, row number four inside, Mike Gardner. Outside of row four, McKenna Cox, uh, a daughter of the great Cox family that's been at Evergreen Speedway a long time. Uh, pulled up on the last row inside, Blaine Manning. And number 23, Royce Tanner. All right. Thank you, Jeff. And that's your lineup for this heat race for our Interstate Battery Hornets. And it's really important to give Interstate Battery a lot of props. They've been behind this division since they virtually came on board close to 20 years ago here at Evergreen Speedway. And these are um, the, the development of these cars. And you saw them when they first came out. Absolutely. They were yellow and black. <laughs> and they had radios that worked in them. And they had defrosters and brake lights. And the way that they've morphed into what you see out here has just been so much fun to watch. Yeah, if you've ever wanted to drive a race car, like the, the, the Interstate Hornets, Interstate Battery Hornets are a great 
entry level. You can find these cars in classifieds, modify them. It doesn't take a lot to get them set up safe uh, so you can come out here and turn some laps wide All open. All right, here we go, Jeff. First green flag of 2020 right here for our Interstate Battery Hornets, and it's almost a mess right from the very get-go. As we see oh, the oh. dip, it's uh, all turned around, Peyton Mayberry getting spun around and getting a little bit excited. First yellow of 2020 as well. So uh, First green, first yellow, Peyton Mayberry, first year driving a Hornet, yeah, first a race, and uh, you sometimes find the, uh, the coefficient of friction in turn <laughs> one on your first green flag. Yeah, that's why we have Jeff here. He brings all the science into it. It's just <laughs> outstanding. You know, Jeff, you brought up one really cool point. And we're going to focus on this all season long. The, the amount of families that come out here and have been a big part of Evergreen Speedway since day one, 66 years ago. Yeah, Evergreen Speedway is is really a place that fosters strong families. Uh, being being a, being a son of this city and coming to this track mm -hmm. since I was a little boy, I used to come here with my dad and watch the greats of NASCAR and the Winston 500 back in the 80s. Man, if you want a family sport, racing is it. That's it. That's exactly right. And McKenna Cox is a absolutely perfect example as Jeff mentioned on the opening her dad uh, Mr. Excitement Steve Cox absolutely one of the best pure figure eight racers you'll ever want to see it's been kind of fun to watch him deal with Dawson his son who's yeah. done so incredibly well we'll see him later on tonight and 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 coaching McKenna too yes absolutely Dawson's running pro late models this yeah. year and yeah. he has stepped up from this class to the street stock class and now the pro late model class and uh, he's a real talent comes he from a is. talented family of racers former champion in this division too all right let's get him lined back up as we talked earlier Peyton Mayberry will do a full field restart on this one with the 84 of Steve Dotson Austin Kramer and Trent Gillespie are going to make up the second row Damon Claiborne and Matt Snyder will make up row three Mike Gardner in the 32 and McKenna Cox who we talked about earlier will make up row four Blaine Manning and Royce Tanner will make up the field and we've got uh, you see him lined up now what's really cool about the these guys too, they get to run a track completely different than any other division out here. Yes, exactly. The, the configurations change often mm -hmm. for the Interstate Battery Hornets, so they have one that's called the boot, and then they do different things all throughout, and uh, here we go. We're taking the green right now. That's right. We've got green, another, green, green. another start, and let's see if they can make it a good turn one here on the road course. I think we've got maybe six or seven turns on this course, so uh, we'll try and keep track of it as best we can. Right now, they're out of turn number two on the 3 8 mile backstretch, which is one of the tracks we'll be using tonight along with this road course as you see the uh, number 24 car right there in your picture McKenna Cox as we look at that pile as they come out of the final turn to have got one lap in the books and it's been a fun one as they come into turn number one man I'm liking the aggression of number 14 there Austin Kramer he's 15 years old I and mean, it looks like he's <laughs> pedal to the metal yeah. he's been forcing the issue and putting his car in position to get some passes yeah and and that one thing that uh, we talked about earlier with the the development of these cars also comes with an incredible improvement in the appearance of them. You're going to see one car tonight, the 521 of Michael Jensen later on. The thing is just absolutely stunning and the pride that they take in these things is just so apparent, but so much fun. Here she goes oh. around one more time, nose to nose, McKenna Cox, in, or excuse me, Peyton Mayberry in the 10 and the 025 car of Trent Gillespie nose to nose, and that will bring out another caution as, uh, well, look at McKenna, or look at uh, Peyton get backed up and that's one cool thing they kind of tend to hold off sometimes on the yellow flags on these to let them get going they do they do I, I think we're I think we're still green everybody's digging it looks like it's a battle up front here and uh, excellent racing lots of car control going on it's fantastic. We are on lap number three out of eight, and that's usually the amount of laps we go on heat races here at Evergreen Speedway. So five, four to go when they come across the line, and the actual start-finish line, you can see it is at the flag stand, but they time it at that mark going across the track as they have transponders on these cars, so you can tell what miles per hour are if you have that program. It's a pretty cool way to watch the racing. It just really enhances the experience. Here is Matt Snyder in the number 15 heading down the backstretch. 
yards. And what's really cool to see too, and I think these guys pick it up from what you guys do, Jeff, on the 5.8s. They kind of tend to wash the track out wide a bit on the back stretch. You'll see them kick up some dirt. But uh, they're um, all wound up now and really doing a nice job as they hit into one. Well, the key, you want to just, you want to keep the RPMs uh, up as high as you can so you keep the horsepower digging at the track. And so widening and opening up your entry um, on corner entry and then opening up a little bit on corner exit makes the corner a little flatter and allows you to keep the thing spooled up real good. Yeah, it's all, and he made that mass rotation comment earlier. That's where it all applies as we got a good battle shaping up here as they go into turn number one, the uh, 43 car. Yeah, that's 143. the 143 at Damon Claiborne. And interesting to note, this is his first Hornet race right here. He comes from an autocross background, which oh, we wow. run here at Evergreen Speedway on Sundays. And you can bring your street car out and run it through a safety check and, and run autocross a time event. But here Damon is, and he's really got command of this field right now. He does. It's the final lap of our <laughs> first interstate battery Hornet heat race of 2020. It's Damon Claiborne, as Jeff mentioned, first Hornet race. And He's going to look to, uh, he'll be pretty impressive this year. Matt Snyder in the second spot as we see the checkered flag out. Congratulations, Damon Claiborne, first win on CW11. Oh. And look at this, Jeff, as they are wreck. first Hornet race. Oh, and there's a big, a big wreck. big wreck coming off of turn four there right at the start. Oh, oh and another, another whack. <laughs> Mike Gardner. Peyton Black. Mayberry, yep. first night in a race car. Oh, man. Hornet here. Got, tur got spun out in lap one and got hit coming to the stripe. First checkered, ah. first race. Red. Boy, this has been a... Oh, there's a, the replay. Hard ouch, hit. Ouch. Yeah, hard hit right there. Well, you're going to see uh, coming into this shot uh, some incredible work by some people we're going to talk about all week long. You have really been... You've These guys have helped you a lot over your career, and that's the Cascade yeah, push yeah. trucks and the EMTs. Absolutely. We can't do this sport without push trucks right. and EMTs. Very important. Well, you see they're checking out uh, Peyton in her car. Mike Gardner kind of was able to drive away from this, but they'll still get checked out. And there you have it, Interstate Batteries. Thank you so much for bringing the Hornet race. And with that, we're going to take a break. We're going to come right back with more racing action coming to you from Evergreen Speedway.